Hi, I'm Daniel Anthony. I am here at the UITM Institute of Medical Molecular Biology, one of the few centers in Malaysia where COVID-19 samples are sent to be tested. Now, these samples are extracted from patients who are being tested for whether they are COVID-19 positive or not. Right behind me is the counter where these samples are first brought in and collected. And in a moment, we'll be heading upstairs to the laboratory where the samples are extracted and then tested to determine whether one is positive or not. Professor Dr. Ariza Adnan leads the Special Task Force for COVID-19 Laboratory in the UITM Medical Molecular Biology Institute. Her daily grind, along with her staff, is the painstaking testing of hundreds of samples. COVID-19 testing is done through the analysis of two swabs taken from a patient's throat and nasal cavity. The first part of the testing is the cleaning and inactivation of the virus through heat, which takes place here in this room. This is the most dangerous phase of the process as it involves handling the possibly infected samples and great care is taken to ensure that contamination or infection does not occur. So this is a soft check which normally takes between 2 to 3 hours. Uh, over uh, about 50 samples, we process about 2 to 3 hours. Once done, the inactivated samples will be sent to the specimen extraction room. Here, the most tedious part of the procedure begins, manually extracting crucial DNA from the samples. As the laboratory is not equipped with an automated extraction system, the process is slow, and one mistake could mean having to repeat the procedure. So, if we have an automated uh, DNA extraction system, well, we can process about uh, uh, 48 samples in 70 minutes. At the moment, they're processing um, 40 to 50 samples in 2 to 3 hours. Yeah? So speed matters and this is also one of the setbacks uh, that, that why you, sometimes you don't have results very fast. Yeah? Here in the largest part of the laboratory, reagents are then mixed into the extracted DNA to perform a test known as a polymerase chain reaction or PCR. A reaction detected would mean that a sample is likely to contain the genetic material from the COVID-19 coronavirus and would indicate a positive case. If it is positive, means yes. it, the, the virus is there. Yes. Yeah. So it is presumed that uh, uh, you are contagious. Yeah. We strictly follow what Yang Di Saran Khan recommended by KKM, as you know. Yes. The reverse transcript test, real-time polymerase chain reaction, yes. is the gold standard to detect for active infection, and that is what we are using now. Yeah. The painstaking diligence and cost required for RT-PCR is what sets it apart from some rapid diagnosis kits, which have a success rate that maxes out at a mere 56.6%. For Malaysia, PCR testing is still a very new technology. There is no local authority or certification to perform these procedures at the moment, and thus a very thin workforce. Uh, we do not have such service before. This is a special lab, so we are using our lecturers, and the lecturers are now on the bench doing the work. So this is something that is very unique. Uh, they are lecturers. Uh, that is not their uh, tugas hakiki, yeah, but they are coming together to do this. Uh, we have two shifts at the moment, uh, from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. and 2 p.m. to 8 p.m. These medical frontliners, along with many more who are working against the clock to detect and contain the COVID-19 outbreak in Malaysia, are the unsung heroes of the battle we now face. Until a reliable and accurate rapid testing solution is developed, these frontliners are the ones who will be doing a huge part in putting an end to this pandemic. Daniel Anthony, Kini TV, Sungai Buloh.